it's Dan. Uh, we're at party at the park upstairs, and the party has been brought to the park because Funkliner here just hey. got the inflatable hey. stage. Hey. Uh, on your website, guys, it says that you are guaranteed to fill the dance floor. How did it go out there with a lot of people eating picnics? And no dance floor. <laughs> uh, so we. Is that how you get Sarah out? Is there a clause? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that's, that's a clause. Over there. No, it was great, wasn't it? Enjoyed I enjoyed it. Mm, yeah. Brilliant. Opened yeah. with a Neo cover. We did. That was big. That was a bit of a surprise. Very nice. Yeah. I think we've done that before, but it worked. It was a good set. Yeah. Just thought we'd throw in something a little bit different. A little bit contemporary as well as the classics. Yeah. yeah. Not many bands yeah. would maybe attempt that kind of tune because it's quite a big club anthem sort of thing. So just we try and do our best. I think the picnic is like it. Yeah. Nothing like a bit of Neo with your sancerre and your sandwiches, <laughs> is there? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's on set, people, in, people here, do we think? <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> maybe Scrumpy Jack or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buck fast. How do you kind of change, what, do you change what you do at all for something like this? Because uh, nipping off to a, a wedding reception later on, Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. how will that gig be different to what you did today? Yeah, totally different. I mean, the, the, the gig for tonight will be the, the classics, you know, Earth, Wind & Fire, Cool and the Gang. Whereas today we decided to put the contemporary songs in. So Bruno Mars was in there, Ollie Murs was in there, mm -hmm. Neo as well as some of the classics. And, so yeah. we, we tailor the set list to the different venues. Yeah. And we, we, we had a bit of a mixed crowd here, as you can imagine. So we did some of the older classic 90s, 80s sort of stuff and right up to date. So trying to appeal to everyone, don't we? So. From a technical, mildly geeky standpoint, what's it like updating, uh, as you say, contemporary music, even old classics, to fit your kind of style? Because you're playing some songs that aren't particularly funky out there, but yeah. you made it sound like it's got a decent bass line in there, it's grooving along. How does that work? Yeah, it's a good question, actually. I mean, we when we're picking new songs, that's all right. <laughs> uh, when we're picking new songs to put in, the sort of genre of the band is funk, and we love that, but realistically, there isn't a lot of new funk, so you're quite right. You know, how do you, what songs do you bring in? So we are sort of veering a little bit to dance floor classics because we can still sort of keep fresh because I don't think you should ever just stick to where you are or else you're just going to get a little bit boring. There is more funk in the charts at the moment though. Noel yeah, Rogers sort of coming helped back. out with that and a lot of the Bruno Mars stuff is a lot funky. Yeah. It's funkier now than it was when I don't know, Kylie Minogue was bringing out hits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot more funk out there. Did you try to update Can't Get You Out of My Head? We tried, <laughs> it didn't work. And the locomotion. It didn't work, did it? Didn't it didn't no, just didn't happen. Didn't work. Yeah. I should be so lucky. We had to There's so that. much. You could do a yeah. night of uh, Kylie yeah. and Donovan. Come back. We could do a bit of Jason Donovan. I should be well. so get Funk line yeah. and a night of Kylie. I should be so get lucky. I should be so get lucky, yeah. <laughs> have, we, have, we, have we had another idea for a song right here? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no more. Anything Process comes out of this. Now. It's that. It's to over to you. <laughs> Thank you this? for the inspiration. Um, so you're a covers band, okay? Yes. Yeah. What's that like? Not, you know, not really having the freedom w with original material in, in front of an audience. What, what, what's that like for, for you? For you? It's a little easier because you don't have to sit around in a darkened room writing. But we can still take songs, change them, put bits in with it. I mean, like the dance medley we did at the end. We can pick which songs we're going to put together, how we're going to fit them together. There's a lot of production and arranging to do this, so you can be creative in that side. Yeah. But it's less labour intensive to um, plagiarise <laughs> somebody else's yeah. stuff, basically. I so think it's a lot even easier when, to pick a good song. And when people are listening to the classics, they yeah. still, in a live setting, you want to hear something different. We've, we've heard bands that are so good, they are literally to the record every yeah. beat, and it's a little bit, doesn't inspire Just put me. the CD on, you know, yeah. that really kind of thing. Yeah. So what, what's happening for the rest of the summer with you guys? I mean, where, where else are you playing? Question, we are out about all over the place, yeah. actually. There's not a lot of public sort of work that we're doing. Most of it's sort of private functions okay. and things like that. But we're in Ascot, we're coming up to Jags, we're going to be playing there. Playing beer the, Keller. Playing the Beer Keller a couple of times um, a year, so we're there. So yeah, a few sort of venues where you can catch us. You know. How can we catch you, if, should we want to? Where do we need to go online? Uh -huh. Ah, Luke, Simon. Well, our Facebook. Good place to start. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Funk What's line? it called? It's called <laughs> facebook.com forward slash funkline. Oh, yeah. 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 Google, Google Funkline. Pressure's Google on. Google Funkline or funkline.co.uk. Yeah. And then there's links to everything. Tag at. Yeah. We have a Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Twitter. yeah. Twitter. yeah. yeah. Funkline UK. Yeah. Mm. And the website's yeah. got um, videos, photos, music clips. And it's got a lot yeah. about the band as well. It it because I didn't just turn up today and watch you and then, you know, I did some research. I found out that our drummer man. I'm bringing this up. It's, it's Dicky, right? Oh, that's correct, I am. Did a little bit of drumming for Eric Clapton. 
did. Yeah, about. Are you guys sick of hearing this? More, more, yeah. yeah. I, tell you, I have to say, I did that before some of the guys in the band were even born. Oh, yeah. 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 Long ago. Never called you back, though. Never did, no. He must have lost my number. Uh, I don't want to end it on a sour note. <laughs> well, thank, you. Uh, thank you so much for coming in, guys. No um, worries. Brilliant set out there today. Thank you. Um, make sure you check him out on the Facebook and everything. Thank you. Thank you.